a little Hoover update for this. I got the cover off. But there are two issues. Number one, well, this isn't really an issue. The motor seems to turn relatively well. But I think it's going to need some oil. And I don't know if I really want to take that motor out of there. I don't know if it's got user serviceable bearings or not. I may just shoot it with some penetrating oil and call it done. Of course, the real problems. Everyone, this belt is just, this is junk. Completely unusable. And number two is the bearings. And this brush roller pretty seized up. I can't even turn that one by hand. This one's a little bit easier. But they're supposed to be a lot lo more loose than that, so... I did clean all the carpet schmutz out of it, so that's one thing, but it's going to need some work. Lots of oil. Okay, so this is a major pain in the ass. I just added this to the system so I could have USB 3.0 on the machine. And I find it amusing and really sad, first of all that it comes with this, which is a SATA to Molex adapter. I guess we've come to the point now where systems don't have uh, Molex power connectors anymore. But it needs its own power, and I think that they would have been much better off giving you a splitter that went to either, you know, that was like two of these, two Molex connections. Because what I ended up having to do was to dig around and find a splitter so that way I can actually plug it in there. What a pain in the ass. Because apparently it needs it in order to function. It can't just work in a low power mode. Which is really dumb because USB supports that. But whatever. The system works. And the other thing I did is I added a KVM switch dedicated to this server rack uh, and this monitor right here. And uh, so that's pretty nice. I like that. I got another KVM switch for the other side of the room. So I didn't need that four port one there because I was just basically wasting it. I was only using two of the ports. So I have a two port one. It's two port Linksys Pro Connect something or another PS2. And then I have this one the piece of junk that's now in here with all the servers. So now I got to put all this back together, probably reconfigure this. And, uh, clean this up, because I made quite the mess trying to get this done. Hey look, a new fan! I wonder who makes it, I actually don't know. I didn't think to look. Mastercraft. So it's probably actually pretty similar to the one that I pulled off the curb not that long ago. Except, in theory at least, this one actually works, where the other one didn't. I wonder if it's got a manufacturing date on it. Uh, oh, I can't read that. Not with the phone in my hand. Let's see if we can look at it. 14890. Hmm. Model CTC90. Almost sounds like an RCA television. But that's not the only thing that I have. The grill is on upside down. That's annoying. That's going to need cleaning. Anyway, I have this. I can't believe I bought this. This was, this was an impulse. I should never, never, ever have picked this up. Especially not for that price. Because this is overpriced. It's just some little stupid Athlon XP. What RAM is this? Ah, I'll leave it in there. We'll take a look at it on video or something. Because I kind of want to hook it up and at least see what it does. If it actually works. Because I've been kind of, I've been kind of looking for an Athlon XP system to have around. Because I don't have one anymore. You know, I got rid of that HP 541C. So, although the arguable value of an Athlon XP these days is pretty low, I almost thought there was something in there. But it's got two optical drives. 
you know? That was really kind of what drew me to this thing, is the fact that it's got two optical drives. This one is actually probably valuable, being a CD burner. Is it just a CD burner? It says CD. It is just a CD burner. I thought it was a DVD. But no, that's just a CD burner. It's a little older than I thought. But, uh, oh well. Make an interesting video, at least. Okay, I'm going to try and wrap up this video now so I can get it uploaded today, so that way it's not sitting around. Uh, so you see that. I mentioned that. That was a freebie. Needs a little bit of contact cleaning, so I'm going to get some deoxid at some point. But I've been trying to move things around, so that way before winter really takes hold, because I'm sure that as soon as the new year clicks around, that's going to start getting snowy and cold, because that's usually what happens. That's what they're predicting anyway. It's supposed to be a really snowy winter. But I'm trying to get things out of here. So this is supposed, somebody's supposed to be coming to pick this up in a couple hours. But I wanted to clean it because it's particularly the hand saws on the front. So I got out the Windex and uh, it's been rather chilly and apparently Windex will freeze because that's pretty frozen and so is the oh it was yeah it's having a hard time working so i guess i'm gonna have to take that inside and let that warm up that's a little annoying somebody was supposed to come get this i guess that's not happening nice and then of course there are a number of other things but Really just trying to get as much of this done as possible. And out of the way. Somebody was also supposed to come and get this. And that doesn't seem like it's happening either. I don't know what it is, but people and saying, I'm interested in arranging a time to pick something up, and then they don't bother. It's kind of ridiculous, really. But, oh well. Welcome to 2020.